Hey everybody, I wanted to take a few minutes and tell you a little bit more about the Bula Mahalo Orphanage and when it started and what it's like right now. Um, Regina started this back in 1989 and the sole purpose back then was to have a place for kids to go after school. So like a nursery or an after school program while their uh, parents were still at work. And um, it's morphed into this orphanage throughout the years um, because parents wouldn't pick their kids up after uh, work. And they pretty much abandon them and leave them in Regina's care. And I think uh, word spread throughout the township and the community and just the area that there's this woman that will take in your kids and, and you can drop them off and they'll be okay. Um, so literally, people have walked miles and miles because of this place that they've heard of um, if they don't have a place to stay or a home, um, children end up there um, if their parents have passed away of HIV. Police officers drop kids off, um, those who are living on the streets or troubled kids, um, because they know Regina will uh, take care of them. The conditions of the orphanage are um, three trailers, so they're about 40 feet long by 15 feet wide and uh, I believe um, one is for sleeping another one's for you know like a kitchen laundry and the other one I think is for playing um, my parents haven't been able to go into the third trailer yet but um, everything is cement or dirt floors um, they don't have any hot water um, and they have a small playground outside there's some pictures on uh, my Facebook page of the trailers and their little playground. Um, I know right now there's about 20 kids and they range from about you know five months old to elementary school age. Even though these kids don't have much and their circumstance is just not ideal, they always have smiles on their faces. Um, with the pictures my parents send me and listening to the stories of, you know, when they visit the orphanage, how excited they are when they hear and see their car drive up and, you know, they get out of the car and the kids just embrace them and hug their legs and they're just so excited to have um, a little extra help and even though it's not much, they're so grateful. I'm really excited and um, grateful for this opportunity to help better Regina and these kids' lives. And with your help, it's definitely possible. It doesn't take much on our part and on our end to help maybe brighten their circumstance or make their um, lives a little bit easier. Um, so please visit the website. Uh, it's timbesiatots.bbnow.org and you can make donations there and also check out the link to um, my Facebook page for photos and updates and video updates as well.